Right. Can you keep your voice down, please? Thank you. Otherwise, you will have to go. Thank you. Eight. Nine. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Thirty. Settle down now, please. Thirty-one. Ali Carter, you have blown people away with a brilliant, brilliant run to the final, and I hope you can take some consolation by how much they've enjoyed watching you get this far. Um, he's beginning to annoy me. You know, it's a good week. Obviously, I'm gutted I lost um, the final. It's all about winning at the end of the day. But, you know, before, I'd have, um, before I rocked up here last week, I'd have took the final. So, a lot of good things to come for me. So, I'm, um, I'm, I'm heading in the right direction. You really are, because you said to me very early on last season, you've got to win a title to get back amongst the elite. You won the German Masters, runner-up to Sean in the players. You've been in four big finals now in less than 12 months, and you deserve to be back amongst the elite. You are going in the right direction. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, you know, Ronnie played very well there in the end. I know he missed a couple at the end. I think the crowd were getting a bit excited, but, you know, you, uh, when you play Ronnie, you're playing the crowd as well. You've got to accept that. Um, I tried my best and, um, yeah, it just wasn't good enough today. And you go home with a record. No player has ever produced more centuries in a single Masters tournament than your nine. <laughs> oh, well, at least I go home with something. Ladies and gentlemen, your runner-up, the captain, Ali Carter. <laughs> Ronnie. We're just going in search of Ronnie, hugging his son and daughter. Ronnie, listen to that noise. For 30 plus years, they've loved watching you, and you are once again the master. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I, don't, I don't know how I've won this tournament, to be honest with you. I don't, I don't. I've, 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 I, I, I've just, I've just dug deep, you know. I've tried to just play with a bit of freedom, and and then tonight I just thought, just, 
try and keep Ali honest, you know, and if he's going to win it, he's going to he's gonna have to scrape me off the table, so... Um, and I just wanted to see if he had it at the end. That's all, that's all I came into the evening session was going, well, let's just see if he can get over the line. And that, that was my whole mindset, you know, so I wasn't even worried about frame score. Just keep playing, just keep playing and see what happens. But it was, it was a magnificent comeback. I mean, Ali didn't play great tonight. He played, he played better this afternoon, but tonight, you know, um, he let me off the hook a few times. You know, he, he, he was aggressive today, um, but tonight, he didn't take on some of the balls that I thought he might have took on and it just gave me a little bit of breathing space and I just just done what I what I could and you know I just tried to just make the most um, and just yeah like I say just see what happens you know after more than 30 years you're still at the top youngest winner of the UK champs oldest winner of the UK champs and now the oldest winner of the Masters as well as the youngest still going strong still delivering and I hope you still really enjoy these great moments and these wonderful receptions. Yeah, no, listen, I, I mean, I, I've, 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 yeah, I've had an amazing career and I love playing, I love competing. Um, you know, um, the, the, yeah, the crowd have always been good to me, you know, over the years, you know. Um, that's, that's the one thing that I, that, that I take from my career is the support that I've had, you know, everywhere around the world, you know, um, not just here in London. So, to, to all, the, all the snooker fans out there, thank you for all your support, you know, uh, over the years, and I'll keep trying until I can't pop no more balls. <laughs> and your 23rd Triple Crown title, can you put into context, it's a long, long list, how close towards the top is this, regaining this wonderful Paul Hunter trophy seven years after your last win here? Um, uh, I've never been driven by t uh, titles or numbers and all that sort of stuff. I've always just wanted to play well and compete and enjoy the game. That's the, that's the, the bottom line for me. You know, if I happen to pick up a few tournaments, that's a bonus, you know, but it's never been my drive. You know, I've always just come just to try and master this game and I've yet to be able to master it, you know, but I'll keep trying. <laughs> And we're enjoying watching. And, you know, I know you say it's not about records, but you are two-thirds to the hat-trick in a single season. UK Masters, you know the broadcasters are going to be talking about it, and they're going to be watching at the Crucible. Yeah, no, listen, listen, um, I, I, I always have a good idea around about February, March, whether my game's in good enough shape to win the Worlds. At the moment, I'd probably say it's not good enough to, to feel confident of winning it, of confident of winning it. I can still win it, but I'd like to go there with a bit of confidence, you know, in my game, you know, lo longer sessions, you have to learn to cruise and just sort of, you know, just, just win most of your games in second gear. But at the moment, I feel like I'm having to get, squeeze everything out just to get a result, which is, which, is, which, is, which is hard, but, you know, I'm a competitor, so I'll, I'll keep fighting. You, know? you most certainly are. Ladies and gentlemen, the greatest of all time has won again.